Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and also welcome back to our Animal Crossing Let's Play here on Callan, a romantic coastal retreat with lots of white, blue, and also some pink. Last time we were playing, uh, and okay, I think I finally got it because I've been mispronouncing his name this entire time, but I think it's Deli, right? Because I've been saying Daily, which I think is a German thing, I'm not sure, and then I thought like I was... I thought it was Dilly because I've read some comments, but I misinterpreted those. And now you were saying that it rhymes with jelly or belly. So I think it's Delhi. Am I correct now? I hope so. I do apologize to Delhi for mispronouncing uh, his name because, you know, that is something I have been dealing with my entire life and it's not the most fun thing. So anywho, uh, last episode, we gave him a little outside library because he loves writing. He loves reading. He loves books, but his parents kind of want it like a high stress uh, education which he just didn't really want so you know we gave him a much more chill place and I thought you know to kind of finish that entire topic why don't we also give him an interior to go along with that I kind of have a little bit of a layout in mind we're gonna see how that works out so I would say let's go to Tom Nook and talk to him about changing that interior there we are Ooh, what have I done Oh, I may, I, yeah, I made my storage a little bit bigger because I did do some Treasure Island trips a while ago and all that stuff would not have fit into my storage otherwise. Okay, I would like to talk about homes because it is time to give Dilly a cuter interior. I've been trying to tackle those as I kind of work on the outside parts as well so that I don't get overwhelmed and I don't have to do them at the very end because... And yeah, I tend to do that. So in case you're confused right now, if you have the DLC and you have decorated, I believe it is 30 houses. Uh, where is Daily? Oh, there we go. Daily, let's go. Um, if you have decorated 30 houses in the DLC, then you get the option to also customize your villager homes on your island inside as well as outside, which is absolutely amazing i really love it it just takes the entire decorating to like the next level i would say and um usually that is something i leave towards the very end so i'll build up an island and i will pretty much finish the entire like main part and then towards the end all that i've left to do is uh decorate all the beaches and all the interiors and that includes my own and the villager home. So like that's around, I don't know, how many rooms are in the in your own house? Six, I think. So that's like 16 interiors that you have to do. And that is just not it. All right. Honestly, Delhi's interior is not the worst. I actually kind of like this. So as a rough layout, I kind of had this interior. Once again, I've been using my 14 day fall island for this quite a bit. And I think once again, I might put on some lo-fi music in the background. So I'll just kind of remove this music player. So there's a little bit of music playing in the background. But yeah, I have been using my own like 14 day fall island for some uh, layout inspo because on that island, I just I just put a lot of like effort into the um, interiors and so i thought we could maybe take some inspo from that again but honestly his interior is actually not the worst it is kind of cute all things considered okay i will show you basically what the layout is like i'm not quite sure what we're gonna do in terms of colors but i will kind of set it up first so you kind of know where the journey is gonna go i guess we're gonna remove the air conditioning so i basically got pillars on both sides like this like so and then i have some shelves in the middle and i have these here so the tension pole racks which we could use either in white or i guess blue could also be very cute right over here as well and then in the center there i have a desk and then this like window setup. Now I have to say, I'm not quite sure. Do I have a window custom design? Because I'm pretty sure I do have some custom design stuff, but I'm not quite sure like how much I actually have here. So let's see. Uh, custom designs. I've got a whole bunch of different pathings and filler codes, etc. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I technically have a big window. Okay, but I see it's not one that actually has like something behind it which makes this a little bit more complicated because of course now that looks a little weird now what we could do if i want to still bring those pictures across we don't really have to do that though uh, but something i guess we could do is we could turn this into like an accent wall and then just have something else like uh like the outside although technically his house is up against a cliff if you will okay 
So I think I'm kind of leaning more towards just not having that here. Uh, and then also I just had a thought if we don't have that, we could bring back the bookshelf here and then have the table in front of that. And I think I don't want the pillars to be white. I feel like this looks kind of awkward. Um, I might also change the color of our, um, I might also change the color of the wallpaper to be fair. I'm not sure that's going to stick either. And I'm also not entirely set on like the shelf at all. Okay. But so technically, you know, there were like some shelves on the side and then like the, the desk in the middle, it's definitely a different one than this one though. Uh, although this one is quite cute, I think it, it kind of works well. Um, the one I had on Hokkaido was like a wooden version, and I think it was this one here. The sturdy office desk, because I had it in this wood grain, which is very pretty. Um, now it comes in white, but then it has this like really weird sort of top layer, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Uh, and then I guess, you know, there's the den desk, there's the office desk, which I think this is the one we have outside, um, which I kind of like here too. So maybe we could go with this and then maybe the white is better. Okay. So what if we have this entire wall bit in white then? So like everything around here would be completely white. And I think the blue here isn't great, right? This is... Yeah, this, I think I have this on my Encanto Island. This is more like a, I don't know, is this like a teal? I'm not the best when it comes to describing colors, but I just feel like it's not quite that coastal, like blue type that we've got. I'm wondering if there's any like office desk that comes in like a very pretty blue, but I'm pretty sure there's not. Yeah, the reason why I kind of like this one here is because it actually goes from like, pretty much the entire left to the entire right of the pillar, you know? Uh, so I kind of, I think I kind of want to work with that. And then let's make this white too. <gasps> it's such a different white. Okay. Not the best then, not the best. Sometimes these layouts really don't work either just because of like colors, I think. Okay. Well, so if that doesn't work, maybe how about we have the, the bookshelf here on the side, right? Just like so that and that and then i quite like his i mean i quite like the simple furniture honestly i could kind of see this working you know i don't like this chair i feel like that looks like a high chair which i'm not really a fan of um i could definitely see this working out too like just having like a waste bin oh this would have been this would have been great in blue um i'm not quite sure about this rug because i feel like well both rug flooring and I guess the wallpaper, like they, they're all not my favorite thing in the world, but I think we can definitely work with the simple furniture. Like I think that one's quite nice. All right, well, so in terms of like an office chair, let's see, I think I might want to get one where you can still sit down uh, from the side. I kind of like this office chair here. I feel like this one's very pretty. Okay, but the color is not great. I don't remember which one I have outside, I think. I do want them to give me somewhat like, I mean, this is too much. The, the modern office chair, I'm not really feeling that one. I think I'd kind of go for like a ranch one. That might be the one I have outside, actually. I think the ranch one is the one I've got there. Or of course, like the wooden chair might also work. And then this one would come in blue, which is not the worst thing in the world. Um, and I think we might have to see if we can go maybe with the wardrobe on this side. All right, we might have to see if we can find like a darker, um, a darker wallpaper. I think I want to start with that somewhat or not start with it, but you know, I, I kind of want to figure that out now. We could do this one, but I feel like that's a little bit too dark. Or of course we go with something much more bright there, but I feel like this kind of baby blue sort of wallpaper is not quite giving me what I want it to give me. Uh, we can also definitely turn down the lights a little bit, I think. Make it a little bit more easy on the eyes. Okay, I think I like that more. I don't know, sometimes sometimes the bright lights kind of throw me off a little bit as well. And then something I want to try, I'm, I keep hopping between things again, I'm so sorry. I always do this. <laughs> I like, I always do this. Because this would be super cute, because it kind of, it perfectly combines both of the 
wooden bookshelves like that. And then what would be great is kind of this like notice board um, that just kind of disappears. Oh, that like stitches together. I wonder if we can use the glow in the dark stickers maybe. Because like, it'd be great if this went from both sides, you know, like completely it disappears behind the bookshelves on both ends. Because that way it just looks like he has this like notice board like wall behind it. I feel like maybe this isn't bad. This is kind of like post-its. But it's not the best either. Doesn't doesn't seem serious enough. Or of course we have to remove the um, the flowers and then we'll have to bring like the cork board or whatever it is that we use like further down. Or option number two, or I guess yeah, second option uh, is the glow in the dark stickers with maybe this here. And that does not seem quite right. Okay, let me think. So I did like the flowers because I kind of, it, it just worked from both sides to the other. Um, I think I want to give him this cork board then, maybe in, in blue with the notice board on it. You know, kind of like that. I think that's kind of nice. And then the sofa and also the bed situation definitely has to go. Like this has to leave. Um, in my own home version for this, I had, I had like, a like a music station to the front here and I just had this random assortment of items over to the left, I guess. But we do have, obviously this is his living room, so I'd like to still give him, you know, like a bed. And like a sofa I think is not the worst either, it's just we can't go with this much blue. Depending also on the flooring though. Oh my god, wow. Wow, this uh, well, this changes a lot. I actually like it though. In this case, we could give it some rugs as well. We could Oh my god, wait, we could do kind of do this. I don't know if I like that though. Uh and then I changed this to white maybe. Ooh, wow, it's so yellow. <laughs> that is so yellow. All right, wait. Let's switch this back to blue then and then make maybe this one here, the white one. And then we switch between like the wooden version. Yeah, not I'm not it ugh, white isn't all the whites just don't fit together. And I feel like that's quite like upsetting in a way. Um, OK, what about this one here? Ooh, I kind of like that. Ooh, I kind of like that maybe. I never know if these things really like if it still looks coastal at all. Um, but we're just gonna we're just gonna think that it does, okay? <laughs> I feel like it's okay. We can get away with the, the interiors not looking like this the most coastal anymore. Um, it just I just want it to be pretty, I guess. All right, we also still have this sofa, which I think we could also work with. How does the white one look here? I seem to remember this was also very yellow. Mm hmm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay, Nordic Sofa just has patterns, which we can also work with. The one just previous uh, or like prior to this also comes with patterns. Fabric and then the frame in white. Okay, this fabric, probably not quite it. Uh, but how about a checkered one? And then that would go here, maybe. I don't know if I'm feeling that for him. I don't know if I'm feeling this here. And also the the bed sheets definitely have to change. I kind of don't like the single beds though. Even though most of the villagers obviously just you know live in a like a single household, I I always kind of want to give them this double bed just because I think generally it looks cuter. Uh, in this case, we would make it blue, right? And then we would give it a pattern. Now that I. I don't think we're going to use the checkered one on the left. So maybe this one here. You go. And then I kind of prefer the singular like setup. So maybe this just has to go. And then maybe we can bring back the blue sofa. It's all about the balance. You know, at least that's what I'm thinking. And also, I, you know, have actually not used a single plant in this room. So let's try and do that as well. Uh, because plants, no matter what their hobby is, plants are going to exist in every room. Uh, ooh, do we want a workbench? I mean, considering the DA, 
I would say yes. But workbenches, I don't know, they rarely fit, you know? I mean, why would there be a workbench here? Or is this his little crafty corner? Like that, I don't know. I'm not loving that. <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you, I am not loving that. Okay, uh, we can offset this maybe. Probably not this though. Uh, what was I doing? I was looking for plants. I always quite like the Yuka and the Monstera because I feel like they can be very versatile and like also they do have the fitting like plant pots so that kind of works and then also i i'm not even i'm not even sold i feel like i like the wallpaper i'm not even sold on a lot of these things though i just kind of put them in and then i left them there because you know it was like it was fine i guess but a lot of these things don't have to stay like that okay we could definitely have a plant over here and then, I don't know, maybe we should also just have one right there. You know, so it actually just, like, frames both sides there. And then his trash can, I'm not sure, would go somewhere else. Or he just has one plant. That also would be fine. That also would be totally fine. Let's get out some miscellaneous things and see if we can make this work. I'm still not 100% certain on the desk because... I'm not, I don't, I don't know if I like that, like, very sleek white look there, but I'll go with it for now. All right, I, I mean, we have this bagel here, which I think, I, I, like, we cooked him at some point, but maybe we can exchange it for something that fits the vibe a little bit better. He just has a fruit bagel, you know, fruit bagel. I mean, I, I would take that still. The other one, I think, was the pumpkin, which is also delicious, but, you know, I, any bagel is a good bagel. So, um, I doubt he would, you know, not be happy about that. <laughs> Alrighty, um, I think I would like to give him the typewriter in inside as well. That's the one we gave him outside, but I think that really just fits the, the entire vibes. So, I think typewriter it is here. And probably the silver version, you know, which, I don't know, do we also bring this back up? No, 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 no. We do not bring this back up. All right, so typewriter and then some different books. You know, there's the newspaper bundle, which let's customize that into something fitting, which I don't even know. I mean, probably just the old books. We're gonna give him a couple of different setups. There's definitely the strap books, which I think might be nice on the table there, on the desk, I mean, right here. Maybe even kind of like this. I still want something on the left. Uh, this I thought might be the magazine rack. Because next to the sofa, that just seems kind of cool. And then do we use the... Oh, wow. Oh, this green is interesting. I was going to say, do we use the the blue or the, um, the white? But there's only a white version. So I guess like this. And we could keep the cafe, like, magazine. Because I feel like the colors really, really fit well. Um... Oh, right. I actually don't hate it, though. I mean, you know, this back here, I feel like this this transition between the shelves and the the desk could be like a tad better, but also totally OK. I think I'd be OK with keeping the globe for him because that's what he kind of came with. So why not? You know, um, we should definitely give him some more like books in general, I think, like stacks of books or also some like office material could work we I, I think we have that one outside as well um as usual also by the way if you do have any ideas anything that you would love to see in like someone's house or i mean in this case in delhi's house then let me know and i think at some point like towards the end either i'll do that on the let's play like on video or I might also just do some stuff like off video for like the final DA release and uh, yeah, exchange a couple of the things that you say, ooh, I like these boxes here. Maybe you got a fresh delivery of books, right? And then some papers I think are kind of a good idea. Um, and I feel like, yeah, we need some type of maybe like a stool or something or the Zen cushions. I do tend to always have a couple of things, especially when it comes to interiors that I very much like use again and again. So sometimes like y'all really have like really awesome 
ideas for other items and for other stuff to use that I'm not necessarily thinking of. So uh, feel free to point that out for sure. Okay, here's some books that I don't really think fit into the color scheme. I, I think that's what I said last time. The books, the books don't really work like perfectly. We still want him to be able to walk around. So I, I kind of feel like we might not be able to, you know, give him like the most stuff either. Um, and I don't know if I love this here. I'm not, not quite sure that I love that one. I do like the wallpaper in the back, like the flowers for some reason, I think actually works pretty well. Um, I don't think I want to go much darker and I don't think I love this either. And I don't think they work well together. All right. Ooh, interesting. That's very like purple-ish. Playroom, not quite it either. I don't know what to do for the other sides then. Because I'm, I don't, I don't know. I feel like that everywhere is a little bit too much, is it not? Or is the rest of this, okay, wait. Um, This is an accent wall. And then the rest of this, let's say like, is white no this blue i don't think so uh this here is too much i don't know and then i mean that doesn't quite fit or do we go with the white and then we do like a darker flooring after all i think this might be something for dotty's place i think i said that before or something like this no i think i use that for tutu i really always reuse the same things it's kind of terrible but like once you found a couple of like comfort i guess like comfort uh wallpapers and floorings etc you know it's just and this one i mean with the very bright wall now maybe maybe i think because of the but because of the rug we've taken it down like a tiny bit um so might be okay because but i think before you know it was kind of like this and then there was this one dotted wreck on the side um i could also do my very typical thing and then be like "Ooh, you know round rug wow so yellow round rug here and round rug there which actually do come to blue by the way no but i think i quite liked i think i quite liked the little shaggy rug up here or because patterns too many patterns is also not great yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll go with this. Maybe we'll put the papers like here or even do several manuscript paper. Sure. Looks almost a little bit green, but okay. You know, lots of, you know, lots of failed attempts or something. <laughs> and then plant here. Nope. I think this is cute. I think this is cute. I'm still missing something right here. I'm tempted to go for my very usual simple stool in blue or in or in white. Simple stool is kind of nice, I think, and then we can use something on top of it. Um, why don't I go through this entire thing from the top and I'll see if there's anything else that I could see myself putting down here. Okay, so apart from the simple stool, I thought maybe he also just had like a regular cardboard box as a, like a bedside table, which I think in and of itself is a cute idea, but now it's like the only wooden color thing. I wish I could turn it into like this over here. And then I think that would be nice. And then I thought about like things to put on top of like a bedside table, I guess which I guess the clock would be, although from the side, they're not so great. Um, and I got the bottled ship because coastal, you know, it's always like a good coastal item, I think. So that could be here or of course, like an open book or um, yeah, open book, not so great. Or I also got this box. This movie just has like a tiny box on the bedside. Not great. Okay, well, I was thinking though, you know, maybe he dreams of adventure. Oh, that's kind of cute. Can this be something else then? Oh no, only like half a tile. Oh, that's kind of sad. Mm, I wonder if we should go for something like this then. Or just move the 
trash thingy some some other place or just move this out of the way like the trash bin he just isn't into trash you know <laughs> maybe he just isn't into trash he'd be the first on my island but you know <gasps> wait that's kind of cute okay maybe no trash i don't know i feel like this kind of fits the writing stories aesthetic like maybe you know he writes stories about like um adventures like out at sea or or he dreams of traveling or you know something like that i think that's kind of cute okay how about the wooden stool as the bedside thing which i guess we still don't have an item to put on it but generally cute idea more books maybe oh wait do i get to drop items like the the drop books type of thing i can drop the pocketbook oh no i can't drop it it actually places it oh wait but that's kind of nice because it's much smaller than the other one and so it doesn't look as weird actually maybe we'll do this yeah maybe we'll do this and then that's it as far as like the floor things go um i think this would be like a perfect opportunity for like an actual like lamp or something uh which in this case Oh, and a drapery along the back could be nice. Although too elegant. Nope, don't like it. I think birds, though. Maybe birds or like the ceiling fan. I think we have the ceiling fan in my storage room, but I thought that was kind of a nice idea. So maybe that right there. And then we're going to do like birds, like an ornithopter here or like the other bird. I always like prefer the other one. Technically, I think the ornithopter is beautiful, but I think from like our perspective, the bird mobile is super nice because you actually see it like sideways. That just makes it like extra pretty. You know, once again, the, the dreamer in him, that white is also very different to the rest, but maybe fine. Maybe fine. And how about a light bulb? Not the black though, right? Or maybe the birds are kind of more on this side here. Yeah. Something like this. Or we get rid of the ceiling fan and then we give him like a milk glass lamp like over here instead. Oh wow, that <laughs> the spotlight though. Mm-hmm. Okay, wall-mounted things. What can we do in terms of wall-mounted things? Does the iron wall rack, like, do something above the library shelves? <gasps> Wait. Oh, this could be a good idea. What about this in white? Okay. Look, does that look good or does that look weird? It's actually not that terrible. I think the birds are weird with it now. I think I want to get rid of the bird. No, I want to get rid of the of the, the thingy here and then just put the birds in the center so that they don't glitch with the shelves there. But actually, wait. Wait, that's kind of cute. It's just a bit of like an interesting moment. I don't know if there's any other, other shelves like that that we could use, but that's kind of not bad. I mean, because bottles, not really it, right? Also goes perfectly from one side to the other, though. Um, but bottles just don't really make any sense. Dreamy wall rack. Okay. Oh, my God. These also... Oh, my God. Just imagine. Oh, wait. This is actually a good combination of items, though. I mean, to be fair, it glitches like a tiny little bit. But it almost looks like you've got plushies sitting on top of your bookshelf. Can we talk about that for a second? Because... I kind of love it. <laughs> I kind of love it. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop. Okay, it glitches through like a tiny bit. And then I think for this specific case, it might not work, but I have to I have to remember this for my Kid Core Island. <gasps> okay, I'm planning to do a Kid Core Island that'll be like mint, yellow, and orange. Oh my god, this will be so great. This will be so great for that. Okay, well, okay, what else do we have? I'm so excited about this now. <laughs> I'm so excited about this now. 
Okay, these never really work super well just because of their alignment and like they also, well, I guess actually that also kind of works, but they also sometimes like glitch through a little bit. Um, there's not that many shelves like this, I guess. Okay, but I'm, I'm happy with this, I think. I'm okay with this. Okay, so we got the birds in the center and then the shelves there. So that wall is taken care of. Let's think about this one. So above the bed, you know, he's still very interested in like learning stuff. I don't know if we can maybe do another bulletin board somewhere. Uh, scenery, people, or illustration. Okay, well, maybe scenery. We'll see how that looks with the rest of the stuff. And then he did have the study poster before we got started, which did have... Um, the multiplica multiplication table but i don't i don't know it has a has a lot of a lot of color in it that might not work we can definitely give him some plants i think or like a picture or something as well um this does come in like a dark blue and a, a green with the plants it always depends on what it looks like from the side because like this isn't this isn't ideal i think like neither of these, the pitcher plan, same thing. I think the pitcher plan we might be able to put over here, which also, can we just talk about how like cute the pitcher plant looks in Animal Crossing? Have you ever seen that in real life? Because I feel like, I mean, not to get too personal about, or, you know, not to offend pitcher plans, but they're really not cute. <laughs> like they are really not cute. Okay, macrame is honestly kind of a staple when it comes to this color scheme. I don't know. I, I just can't go without it. It's so cute. Yeah, this isn't great. How about this here? Above your bed? Because that's the best thing to have there. Nope. Picture plant here with the with the light switch. I think I'm okay with that. Uh, we could technically have another cork board and we could go for the white one this time. And have that on, on this side maybe you don't see it in the same frame that that might work yeah like just have this one here maybe a little bit lower no uh and then above our above the bed <laughs> that's that's the one we're missing so what we could do glow in the dark stickers i'm so sad that the butterfly like this butterfly fish model wall thing doesn't come in different customizations as well because i think that would be super cute like if we could have that one with different type of fish so it fits different color schemes, that'd be pretty nice. I'm not like the biggest fan of fish in real life, <laughs> but just in this in this scenario, I think it kind of works, you know, or of course these pictures kind of work. I'm always so random with the patterns on them, not going to lie, uh, or we do some lovely stickers. Either literally those, like those ocean uh, stickers, or we do little flowers so we have more of the romantic vibe. You know, I've done some of those before, which I kind of liked. Or, or Deli would be more like the... Yeah, I don't know if it fits. He already has flowers on the other side. I don't think the sea creatures fit either, though. The blue, you know? The type of blue is just such a different one. The idea of it is nice. It's just that it doesn't quite fit. Oh my God, but this is like also mixing those two flowers. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. But I think the patterns that we've got are not great. By the way, for Delhi, also the pink that I've used so far has been kept to an absolute mi minimum. But I kind of also, again, I think that kind of makes sense. Maybe he just also gets this like flower garland. Yeah, it's once again, it's one of those staple pieces, you know? It is one of those staple pieces. All right. And then just the other side. Um. Ooh, do we have any music pieces maybe? Or can we use the... The mob, mob, mobile, mob, mob, mobile, mobile, I, I don't, I still don't know how to say that. <laughs> there are just some things I struggle with. And even if I look up what they're pronounced, like how you pronounce them, I can't remember ever. Okay. Fish door plate actually also could be nice. There's a couple of pictures here even, um, but they're not like, 
Ooh, look how close together these are. Oh, that's nice. You gotta remember that. Did we have a relationship for him? Should we put up like a picture of someone? I am not sure. We could put up some music pieces though. You know, as like his art above the sofa. Maybe a third one. Uh, farewell. Chill wave is very cute for coastal stuff. And KK Island is a bit in your face, maybe. Eh, welcome Horizons. <laughs> He's a big KK fan. He's a big KK fan. It's cute. I kind of like it. I don't know if I like the mobile thing. Mobile, mo I don't know. The ocean thing. It sticks out too much. Uh, in that case, what do we do here? Or should this be the macrame? And then that over there, I don't even know if that should be anything. Yeah, kind of works for me. And then you here are, how about a little fish plate? No, that's so random. That is so random. Maybe a gyroid friend. Oh, what what kind of gyroid is cute and not too annoying? Hmm, that limits. That limits the amount very, very quickly. I love this one here. I love the twangoid. I think it's my favorite. But like a singular gyroid? Ooh, gyroids on top of the shells probably also work, right? Because, I mean, those have been used so many times. Oh, not in their, like, alignment, though. Okay. Never mind. Okay, what else do we put there? It feels like I need to put something else there. I probably don't even. Or the good old broom and dustpan. Just like this here. The good old broom and dustpan have saved my life quite a few times before. Probably not not in this case. Okay, I wanna I wanna have something else here. Just something small, maybe. I'd probably go for the floral swag, but the thing is, I've used the flowers already above the bed, so that doesn't work, you know? Maybe this is the moment for a framed poster then. Uh, maybe a framed poster of birds. <laughs> what does this look like? It's too old school. All right, let's make this a print then. Let's make this... Oh, do we maybe have something here that we can use that doesn't appear anywhere else? Sometimes I feel like the Nintendo own things, like the, the stuff that they've introduced, kind of like this here, it's not like intricate enough almost. Sometimes these almost look too simple if you also use like other stuff on your island from other creators because everyone in this community is like absurdly good at custom designs. Not me. I, I'm, I'm terrible at them. <laughs> I don't. I have just recently like with all of the brain power that I had, I have tried to make like a custom design for my Encanto themed island because I wanted to create something that was that looked kind of like a fabric that you saw in the movie. Oh my god, it was so hard. It was so hard. I don't know how people make pathings. It's it doesn't make sense to me. Or should we just put up another because I mean, okay, we've got the cork board, right? And now we've got this as a wooden color. Should we just go with another like KK song on the other side as well? We could do that. Which one did I say was too obvious? <laughs> okay, we've got Chill Wave. We've got Farewell. Uh, oh yeah, KK Island was too much. I kind of stand by that though. KK Lovers could work. KK Lovers, KK Synth could also work. And then I mean Surfin or even Stale Cupcakes. Stale Cupcakes is very blue. I kind of maybe want to try Stale Cupcakes here. My god, look at that. Is that too much, maybe? Yeah, you are double, so you go. AK lovers, lovers is kind of a mood. <laughs> I I think I actually really... Ooh, wait. Actually, wait, two? He's a music fan now. He's besties with um with Pate, so it, it makes sense, right? Yeah, he's besties with Pate, so... She's told him and taught him everything about music and taste in music. So maybe just one here, though. All right. 
and there we go. So that is kind of what that would look like. Um, I'm not sure if maybe the music pieces are too much, or maybe now that we've got those, we should change. Uh, we should change like the boxes back to the normal boxes and not the white ones here. And then we could have the bedside table as well. You know what I'm saying? That's a very different shade of brown though. Um, I don't know. Let me know that type of stuff in the comments. But apart from that, I think this might be what we leave for Delhi's uh, interior. It's something, you know, at least it kind of, you know, embodies the, the vibe that we want for him. It has books. It has like a place to write. He can walk around quite a bit, which I think is quite nice. He does not have a workbench, which isn't the best, but you know. All right. Well, thank you all so much for watching today. Make sure that you are subscribed so that you don't miss the next episode. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for the algorithm. And then I hope you have a fantastic time until I see you in my next video. Bye, everyone. Thank you.